Okay, I'll be using my new W508 Sony Ericsson phone and since I have quite a few prism uh, blinks, I'm going to use it. So first you have to clean the surface of the phone, which I have already done. And the width of the sticker is about this much, so we'll put it across the phone. Yep, and you just uh, approximate it properly. And then you make sure you press the sides so that it kind of like adapts well to the curves of the phone. And then you see if there's any excess, then uh, yep, just cut off uh, according to the lines. Uh, all the stickers are sort of like, like bonded together by very thin adhesive. Yep, then you press it hard against the surface. And repeat the same on the other side. Okay, as you can see, it's quite sturdy now and um, it's very difficult to come off because everything is held together by the same adhesive sheet. And with the level, you can add more to like, the spaces that you left out before. And you repeat the whole pressing against the surface thing. Like, no, like how you would normal stickers. Okay, then you use another strip to continue and make sure the blinks are in one line. You don't want like, you know, the blinks to look uh, as if it's like placed like in a jagged way. So it has to be uniform. On the sides, I will have two rows of blinks. Likewise, on the other side. Oh, I've already removed the audio from the original video, but uh, the W508 has sort of like a... It's not really a button, more like you, you touch it, it plays uh, music. So yeah, even though through the blinks, it still works fine. So it's an SMS as well. You can't really see the shine uh, in the video because I'm taking it in my room. And uh, yeah, it really, really, really glitters in the sunlight. So you continue to approximate the rest of the glitters, and glitter block, uh, the rest of the blinks. Uh, the, the great thing about all these bling sheets is that uh, you can remove it anytime and then place it properly again. A little bit covering the screen is fine. As you can see, we're almost done with the bottom half of the phone. Yep, and you just cut like tiny, tiny pieces to fill up the sides. Actually, if you are worried that the adhesive might stick to your phone in the future, you can just skin it you know, with a clear, one of those clear skins. Um, in Sunghai Wang, there is a store which can skin your phones for you. I'm sure most shopping malls also got this kind of stores that will skin your phones for you. And yeah, so I've already completed it almost all the way to the top. If you're a perfectionist, you might want to cover the small bits, but uh, chances of the bling coming off in that area is rather high since the concavity does not really conform to the bling. And there you have it, all bling up. It might be a bit weird to do all your flipping motions in the beginning because you're afraid that the blade might come off, but trust me, it's quite sturdy. And yeah, I've used uh, some of my puffy stickers to decorate um, the phone and I used the blinks like a background. I actually saw a calculator being done like that in some shop, so I thought I might as well apply the same idea. And this is perfect for the girls who don't mind going all out girly, you know. And 
there you have it, an extremely glittery blink up phone. Okay, my name is Jolene and I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. Thanks.